Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. <laughs> Sorry, I've been kind of MIA on here. Um, we are finishing up building our house. So in the next two to three weeks, we should be moving in there. And it's very exciting, but also very time consuming. And there's a lot going on right now. So I haven't really been able to film, edit and upload as much as I've wanted to, but I figure once I settle in there, we start our homeschooling year, I would love to get on some sort of schedule to where I'm uploading regularly. But today I wanted to share something kind of special. I am collaborating with Claudia from Faith Through Arrows and she is just super sweet. And you should definitely check out her YouTube channel for all things homeschooling, family, motherhood she's just she's awesome she's been such a supportive friend to me as I've started this homeschooling slash YouTube journey and I know that she's going to have a lot of wonderful points in her video as well today I am sharing five reasons why we decided to homeschool and this is pretty personal but I figured if you are new to homeschooling or you've been homeschooling for a while you probably understand some of these reasons that I have I know if you are considering it, then maybe some of these can resonate with you as well. And I want to kind of put a disclaimer out there right now that I'm no way wanting to bash public school. We actually had a pretty overwhelmingly positive experience at the kids' school. Um, since we are moving to another town, they're going to be in a different, in the same school district, but it, at a different school. So we figured that this year would be the perfect opportunity to kind of try out homeschooling as it has been something that we've wanted to do for, for a very long time. But since we would be leaving the kids elementary school that they've been at for three years anyway, we figured this was probably the best opportunity that we had. And if worse comes to worse, we just send them to public school where we're moving. But uh, we absolutely love their teachers, loved the principal. Everybody has been just amazing there. So these reasons that I'm giving aren't necessarily a bash on public school because I feel like whatever decision you choose, whatever option of schooling you choose for your child or whatever option you're kind of forced to choose, there are pros and cons to all of them. So please don't take my video the way of, oh, well, she must think that there's something wrong with public school. No, I, I think that if that is the decision that you have wanted to make for your family, then that's a good decision. The first point is that we just wanted to be a closer family. And I figured that homeschooling was the perfect opportunity to bring my kids closer together, uh, to bring me closer together with them. And then my husband being at work during the day, knowing that we're at home, and that we are all gonna be there when he gets home. It just kind of feels right to us. And we just like that feeling and that opportunity to grow closer as a family. Not saying that there isn't going to be difficulty attached to that because when you're around the same people all the time, as we all know, you know, you kind of get a little rub going on there. But I'm sure there are gonna be plenty of opportunities for our kids to get some alone time and also for them to be involved in things that don't involve each other. And especially as they get older, you know, distance kind of is a natural thing between siblings, between the siblings and the parents. And while we know that that is a natural thing, we hope to kind of cultivate an environment where they feel comfortable to come to us with anything that they might be struggling with um, or go to one of their siblings that with anything that they may be struggling with. Number two, this one is one that I've just kind of noticed the past couple of years and um, I just want to keep them at little for as long as possible. I want them to be kids for as long as possible and I think that if you're around any sort of like preteens, teenagers nowadays, I think because of the introduction of the internet and social media, um, as well as just maybe like different parenting styles and things like that, kids are kind of growing up a little bit faster and I want my kids to remain kids for as long as is appropriate. Um, we've had a couple of things happen at public school where the kids were introduced to things that were like we hadn't, they came home and they would tell us and we were just like, how do you know about that? And I think that that's a pretty common thing and uh, it's to be expected when you're around other kids, but I just want them to not be delving into adult things that they 
that is way above their maturity level at this age. Number three is I wanted to tailor an education for them. Now, my hat goes off to public school teachers because I think they do an incredible job, especially with what little they have to work with as far as funding is concerned and how sometimes they have to parent kids that don't have maybe parents that are there for them or neglectful and I just absolutely love all of public school teachers and I have the utmost respect for them. The thing that I love about homeschooling is that you can kind of tailor a curriculum around an individual child. I don't think it's necessarily a good thing for a child to never struggle and uh, to never have to work through something that's hard. That's not what I'm saying. Um, but like for my daughter, for instance, she's not the kind of person who has a very long attention span. And so the fact that we could take a couple of different recesses during the day, not have to sit at a table for eight hours, um, and be able to kind of like be more hands-on with our curriculum, I think is going to help tremendously. And I think that by doing that, it will help them retain information even better. And the same goes for like my, my youngest ones, you know, they are still at that kind of age where play is a very huge part of learning. And we've got screamers. So yeah, tailoring an education to them, I, it is very overwhelming. There are so many different curriculums out there. There is different methods of teaching, but I think that it is going to be a really neat experience seeing what methods of teaching and what curriculum really clicks with them and allows them to retain information rather than just kind of going through a book and testing them on it and then moving on whether they get it or not. Number four, flexibility. Oh goodness, this is something I'm very excited about. In our state, we do not have very strict rules as far as homeschooling is concerned. The only guideline we have is that we must instruct for 180 days. Now, the flexibility of that is just phenomenal because you can take a day where you are on a field trip somewhere like the aquarium and count that as a school day, as well as like taking a nature walk, which we're going to be doing a lot of once we move to our new house because it's out in the country. We have woods. We have a lot of farms nearby. I mean, I think that it'll be just a really cool experience to have that flexibility. If somebody gets sick, I'm not worried that they're gonna max out their days. Um, they could just do their homework in bed if they're well enough for that. And um, yeah, I mean, I think part of the um, stress that I had as a parent for public school was like my kids having to take sick days or appointments or things like that and making sure that we were getting doctor's notes and just crossing all our T's and dotting all our I's so that I didn't get arrested. Number five, this is kind of like a culmination of all the other points, but we just want them to be well-rounded, healthy, and happy. And we feel like by homeschooling, we're kind of taking away that outside influence where maybe our kids are being exposed to things that are kind of above their head and the bullying aspect of it as they get older especially but we saw a lot of it even in the younger grades and um it's just kind of crazy <laughs> i do not want to put my kids in a bowl like that is not my intention i do not want to shield my kids from the world i think that there are things that they need to learn from other people i feel like we can learn a lot by listening to other people's stories and we can develop and cultivate an empathy for other people when they hear their point of view and their stories. That is not what I am talking about. I do not want to indoctrinate my kids with just my worldview and then, you know, I do pray that they follow a different path than I did and that they don't have to go through some of the hardships that I did. But I just want them to not have to deal with the things like 
depression and anxiety stemming from the pressures that young kids and teenagers are facing nowadays at an astronomical level. And it's getting younger and younger. I mean, you're hearing about young kids as like eight years old committing suicide. And it's just scary to me. And I want to make sure that I am at least going to give it my best shot to give them the best shot at a happy and healthy life and I pray to God every day that we are making the right decisions for them and this is going to be something that we take year by year this isn't something that I'm like okay we're homeschooling and then that's it I'm not saying that we are going to take it year by year and we are going to see how this year goes and I pray that it's a good year so if you are a homeschooler or you're new to homeschooling Please let me know your reasons for homeschooling. Give us your top five. Um, tag me and Faith Through Arrows in it or give us a shout out or something so that we can kind of create a little tag here. And uh, I, I'm very interested to hear from other people's perspectives, their reason. And I hope that you will like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Please be praying for us as we uh, move into our new house and get settled in. And I will be hopefully getting some new videos out really soon. So bye guys. You look so beautiful. And I'm so lucky to be yours.